Animals serve many roles in our lives. Companionship, service, enjoyment, and production. This requires keeping animals healthy by providing shelter, a nutritious diet, and getting the best possible medical treatment. Yet animal lovers look to veterinarians for more than medical care. Studies show that when choosing a veterinarian, animal owners rate communication as the number one criteria when making their decision. Communication rates high with animal owners because they want a relationship with their veterinarian. They want the veterinarian to be able to listen and understand and convey to them in clear and simple language what's happening with their animal. The challenge is for veterinarians to be successful in building a relationship with their clients means that they need to be effective in communication skills and, and they need to practice those skills as much as they would any medical or surgical skills. When I came on the uh, trust in 1997, we would sit around and discuss cases, liability cases, and the questions always came up why didn't he say that, or why did she say that, or why didn't they tell him about this? And the trustees went on like this for several years, and we finally understood that these were communication breakdowns. So at the PLIT, we started tracking cases that had a communications part to them. And we discovered over time that probably 40 to 50% of the liability cases presented had a communications failure somewhere along the way that either led to the case being brought to suit or led to a complaint being filed. And it became apparent that these were trainable deficiencies in veterinarians and that there was a good science and good education that could be brought to bear to uh, answer these questions of communications failures. Research evidence in human and veterinary medicine has shown that effective communication is correlated with at least five outcomes diagnostic accuracy, improved health status, improved adherence rates, client and clinician satisfaction, decreased liability risk. Recognizing the fact that it takes more than learning technical skills to get the job done right, all schools of veterinary medicine in the United States and Canada have included communication tools and coaching in an effort to promote excellence in the field. These interpersonal communication skills have been taught to students and faculty since 2003 through a communication skills training program funded by a grant from Bayer Animal Health. We found that the top practices were practices where clients felt that they were heard and understood and the veterinarian empathized with their situation and the situation with their animal. And this is why we wanted to institute a program like this, is to improve the skill and increase the satisfaction of the patient, the client, and the veterinarian. Today, one of the Bear Communication Training Programs is being conducted at Michigan State University. Faculty and staff at the Veterinary College are taking part in a week-long program that teaches them how to teach these valuable communication skills to veterinary and veterinary technology students. You know, it's not unlike any other skill. There may be, in the, at least the owner's mind, a reason, and that's where this gets messy. You know, if somebody is really out of place with the response, this, this does go smoother. The training consists of several interactive modules covering many topics. They include building client trust, delivering bad news, and making financial or end-of-life decisions. It was very important to us to get experiences and opportunities to deal with some of the more challenging communications specific to our career and our job, um, dealing with people and asking, you know, the, the euthanasia discussion um, or, you know, medical mistakes if that occurs. The, those are kind of challenging things that you don't go into vet school being prepared for or ready to discuss. but is going to occur with every veterinarian and we have to be prepared and it's much easier to go through that in a not real setting prior to actually being thrown into it in the, in the reality of, of life. The training also uses simulation exercises with actors who portray clients. Okay, what are the other options? If we just did the surgery just to take the area off and to send it away for his path to make sure that we got as much of it as possible, that would be about fifteen hundred dollars. Huh? I would, you know, walk into a room just like I would in a normal everyday veterinary position and speak with the actor and they had an animal with some, you know, 
sickness or some situation where they were upset or angry and um, I would have to you know go through the whole situation just like a normal appointment and then afterwards get feedback not only from the actor who would tell me how they felt and how you know they felt through the whole process which things I communicated well to them which things I did not as well as um, watch, watching videotape of myself and giving myself my own feedback and people are oftentimes their worst critics so it was extremely valuable and, and helpful to see that. The opportunities to practice our communication skills before we're actually in some of these challenging situations really provides the opportunity for people to build their confidence. Um, we've seen it both with our colleagues who've gone through this program as well as the students that we're training. I, I, I feel I feel that I used empathic statements. The Bear Communication Project teaches communication across all areas of the veterinary profession. I did feel you were genuine. Whether working in a veterinary clinic, an equine practice, or in the challenging context of shelter work. Communication skill training in this project is based on a model that has been successfully taught for over 20 years in human health care and is now customized for veterinary care. For over 20 years, the Institute for Healthcare Communication has been dedicated to advancing the quality of healthcare through the development of workshops for health professionals to improve their communication with patients in their care. Through a strong collaboration with Bayer Animal Health since 2002 and AVMA PLIT, this nonprofit organization has developed the gold standard in communication training to ensure that animal owners feel confident about the veterinary care they receive. Regardless of what species of animals uh, the veterinarian is, is treating, I mean, it could be the dog, the cat, you know, cattle, horse, exotics, um, there's always a person that's attached to that animal. And that person is really looking not only at how their animal is being treated, but how they themselves are treated. We know that from surveys that have been conducted with consumers in, in veterinary medicine. Well, our mission is to impact uh, the quality of healthcare. And the way we do that is we focus on the human experience. And that human experience really relies on a set of interactions that happen between patients and their clinicians and the full healthcare team in human medicine and veterinary medicine. So there are a set of skills, that's the good news, that you can teach communication. There's a vocabulary, there's a set of advanced skills that can be taught and we're all works in progress. So people come to the table, future veterinarians and practitioners come to the table with a range of levels of communication skills. But because we're all works in progress, we can you know, serve to have those, um, those skills improved, and that's what we concentrate on. No matter the topic, every step of this groundbreaking program is aimed to ensure that every veterinarian has the tools to communicate clearly and compassionately. Those people who graduated before skills were taught now have the opportunity to attend these workshops at both national, state, and local veterinary meetings. In addition to that, the Bayer Technical Services veterinarians are trained to deliver these workshops in the clinic for the veterinarian and his staff. Also, fee-based workshops are available from the Institute for Healthcare Communication. To find out more about the Bear Animal Health Communication Project, log on to healthcarecom.org.